now you have a, a, a rough idea as to who is your MP and uh, whether your MP lost or he, he retained that seat. Interestingly, a lot of deputies um, lost their seat. Um, Eslo also lost two of her deputies as as MPs, of but I don't know. In West. Of course, and it looks like uh, the people of Ghana, mm. they've helped uh, President Kufado if he wins to, you know, uh, uh, do a, a quick reshuffle. <laughs> so he hasn't done a reshuffle in a while. So if he wins, if the president mm. uh, retains uh, the seat, then it appears that a lot of reshuffle has been done. Uh, I guess a lot, of, a, a lot of the president's work has been done for that, him yeah. in terms of ministerial appointments, especially with the deputy mm -hmm. uh, ministers. Most but, of his deputies. You know, rather. looking at all of these new entries into parliament and all of that, you cannot but feel for uh, the likes of Dr. Okoboy, uh, you know, mm -hmm. uh, because when you look at the constituency and the work some of them were doing, I mean, we've seen what um, John Peter Ameu has done in Hohoi, which is pretty surprising if you look at what the president, uh, you know, the presidential nominees got uh, there, and then you look at the parliamentary voting. But something else that interests me as we get ready to wrap up, one of the newly created regions, Northeast, and of course, Wale Wale there, and you would ask yourself about the supposed Baumia effect because yeah, apart from about, or is really an effect mm. is it supposed or in, in really fact i mean looking at the concentration of votes there for the mpp pretty interesting when you look at the dynamics all the way from 1992 till now so you begin to ask yourself what really uh, the effect was what are and, you picking up i'm sure you've been monitoring well, that trend you you could say that the mpp has won that region looking at the number of constituencies of course we, we, we've already put that there. out northeast of course has exactly calling, exactly uh, for, it, it appears that is a reward for the creation of these new regions because right. ot also right. uh, rewarded um, the president uh, for carving out you can say that for the, carving in, in out the, in the in region. the ot region mm -hmm. uh, the ndc's footprint is very clear there in fact they, clear. they've taken all the seats mm -hmm. in ot including yeah. the crachi area crachi east where we're just talking about with michael jato actually losing uh, his uh, the only seat, seat there. Though. Yeah. So pretty interesting dynamics. And the likes of uh But you Captain were telling Udu me about well. the, the Baumia effect. It, it's well, really it would... It would so so basically, when you look at that portion, it's a new region, so you can't really talk about consistency in there. But if you look at the fact that it was carved out of the northern region, of course, we have the Savannah region as well. Also. And you look at the concentration of votes that the MPP has caught, uh, you know, it paints a certain picture about the inroads being made into that part of what used to be uh, the northern region. So interesting dynamics. But for me, I want to see all 275 constituencies before I can jump and say, look, this is, <laughs> I don't want to make any projections uh, ahead of any hub or warehouse or nerve center. Uh, we here, we are your election HQ, and we bring you information that is, you know, crisp, straight on point. Aha, uh -huh. <laughs> and we've given you 20, 227 right. out of the 275 right. constituency. And uh, that's uh, how that it looks like. would leave us with 48. Yeah, 48. We have 48 more to go. Right. Your math is very good. So we have 48 more to go. And, uh, of course, your election headquarters would bring that to you. This is your election digest. And, uh, of course, uh, Benjamin, uh, there are a number of things that um, has been happening. Uh, we're waiting for a new date or timeline in right. terms of i'm hoping it's not date i'm hoping it's just time no, that no, the ec will give MFA, us please I'll don't go to date. date let's stick to time date it will still be eight eight no December. let's 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 stick to time because if if the ec comes out to say oh on second thought we are going to do some other day you know that kind of uh, let's face the facts that kind of stress we don't need let's do this once once and for all <laughs> unless all. we have a runoff on our hands which you know that would change all the yeah, dynamics. Likely, we'd have to yeah. wait an extra 21 days, go through this entire process again, come and sit here, do all the analysis anew. And uh, honestly, uh, not in terms of finances, money that we're going to expend, not in terms of going through all of this. We don't want to do this again. You know? <laughs> Unless we are forced to do it, then we'll have to do it. Then we'll have to do it. We wait for the Electoral Commission. I'm sure a new timeline will be uh, communicated. Where are the uh, Election, election um, Commission's headquarters? But um, let's touch base with our correspondents. Um, you know, uh, Elton Brobe has been embedded in the president's team all through, uh, during campaigning up until now. Maxwell Agbogba is also with the former president, John Dramani Mahama. But let's join Elton uh, Brobe 
Uh, they are also getting ready to receive uh, the AC's declaration. We're all waiting. It was supposed to be five. Not going to happen. But let's check on Elton Brobe, shall we, Benjamin? Let's so do. So you can take Elton Brobe at this point at the residence of the president. I'm, I'm sure it's the Nima residence. Uh, Elton Brobe, uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, paint a picture of how the situation is at the president's residence to us. Hi, uh, I hope you are good. It's been a while. Ah, yeah, and I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> right, so so we are. I'm currently coming to you live from the residence uh, of President uh, Akufuado, his Nima residence. So the background you can see, they've set up a stage. Uh, you have the, the the Ghana flag and another flag. Uh, from 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 where I'm standing, I'm sure I'm sure you can have a look at it. So. The flag you see there, the Ghana flag, and then another flag, and then podium where President Kufado is expected to speak to the nation. My information is that the, that statement will come after the Electoral Commission has declared the results of the presidential elections. And all of us are here waiting uh, for that announcement. We don't know when the AC said five. Uh, they came up with a, with a statement saying that. Uh, they've moved this to another time, but uh, they are yet to tell us which time that will be. So everybody is here. The media, the, everybody is set up. Uh, the president of Kupari himself is in his residence. I'm told that the vice president is with him, plus some uh, leading members of government. A while ago, the Speaker of Parliament came through and left. And then, so uh, there's been a flurry of activities here uh, in his Nima residence. People have been coming in and out, especially uh, senior government officials and all that. Now, the mood here is that of uh, expectants. They are telling me that uh, the collation done so far by the MPP from their strong room at Rage, uh, they are in the lead. And indeed, uh, this afternoon, uh, the media uh, who were taken to the rich coalition center of the MPP where the general secretary of the party, John Buadu, and Joe Anoche, who is the head of IT for the, for the MPP, and he's also the CEO of the National Communication Authority, took the media to uh, their coalition process. How come they arrived at a figure that uh, they have communicated to the public as representing the vote uh, gotten so far by President of Ecuador and his main opponent in the election, John Ramani Mahama of the NDC. And according to them, the collated results representing almost 90 percent uh, the 38,000 polling centers across the country. They've managed to collate over 6 million votes for President Kufuad, representing 51.9%, and uh, uh, a little over 5 million, representing 47% uh, for, uh, for uh, former President John Mahama, who is on the ticket of the MPP. Now, this information uh, has been given to the President, I'm told, but as you are aware, the official figures is what everybody is waiting for from the Electoral Commission. Is it going to be a one such victory? Uh, will President Kufuado form the next government? That is the question we are all waiting to hear. And clearly, from what you are seeing behind me, the House itself is in readiness to respond to that communication that will come from the Electoral Commission. So, every part, uh, we are all here and we're going to be here till the Electoral Commission is out with its official figures representing the outcome of the presidential elections. And then we'll hear from President Okufuado, uh response to that particular statement. So uh, that is why we are uh, we are here for this particular reason. And we'll be here to at least be in that one. People who have gathered at the home of uh, the, the president, what have they been telling you in terms of their expectations? I know they say they've collated their figures and all, but briefly, uh, what's the sense you're getting in terms of the anticipation? What are they really saying? So some of them are quite uh, optimistic of Vichy, even though know, they've been very cautious uh, as far as that is concerned. Uh, they are very much relying on the collated results that the MPP has done and uh, the, the, the figures I told you about some few minutes ago. And according to them, they did this a uh, uh, few hours into the lesson because the party had a test, a mock run of their system before the election itself. And that mock run gave them 80% of results within two hours. And so 
even before the general secretary went on air around 4 a.m. saying that the party had collated over 80 percent and the party was in a good lead they have had that resource but they wanted to allow the system to work they wanted to allow the electoral commission to have their way they say that they are confident of reaching that was stop it according to them the vote difference between uh president of Kupuado and his main rival john Dramat bahama is over 500,000 votes and for them there's no way that can be overturned the electoral commission has the final say on these matters and that's what everybody is doing i'm sure that's what the president of Kupuado himself is waiting for that's how come the podium the stage is still uh, waiting once the announcement drops and i'm sure that we'll hear uh, that statement from President Kufara. So what, is, what form and shape that statement will come, that will depend on what the electoral committee will come into the nation. Well, that's Elton, John Brobe. Thank you very much, Elton. And definitely we'll be with you uh, throughout the, the period once uh, we get that declaration of results from the Electoral Commission much later in the day. I uh, would we'll also join Maxwell Agbaba along the line. He's also embedded in the uh, former president's team as well, he'll be monitoring events, um, both in his residence and then also in his office as well. And my colleague, Kwesi Pakawosin, is also monitoring events at the NDC headquarters. And then also, Elting has also been monitoring events at the NPP headquarters. So as and when we get anything, we've got you covered. This is your election headquarters. And it's brought to you by a number of kind sponsors. Let's go well, through let's that. Let's salute some of those uh, sponsors. Uh, due to hard times, we've become value hunters. But are we hunting for value the right way? Remember, your engine is valuable uh, more than just uh, cheap fuel. So be smart, hunt for holistic value. Holistic value is when you have quality fuel at the right quantity and at a fair price. At Petrosol, we can serve uh, clean fuel in full quantities at a fair price, and that is holistic value. So come to us. Petrosol, clean fuel in for quantities. Also brought to you by Wutri Lotteries and kill the stress with jumping into Trotsky's on busy appointment days with only five Ghana cities. Dial star 787 hash now to play and drive home a brand new Toyota Corolla with five Ghana cities. Pay this Saturday, 12 December 2020. Same tickets qualify you to bag home the new 395,000 jackpot, same draw day with thousands more cash prize. Grab your Toyota Corolla keys now with only five Ghana cities. Dial star 787 hash now to play and win uh, your tier rubber ride. Star 787 hash, Ghana's premier and biggest jackpot lottery. Well, I don't know how you wake up every morning, but I'm going to give you a good idea how you can wake up. Wake up every day to that great feeling from a delicious, creamy coffee aroma from Cowbell Coffee and enjoy the delicious, creamy Cowbell Coffee taste. Cowbell Coffee, taste it. Love it. And are you tired of spending money on inferior products uh, for your homes and offices? Are you suffering from back pains and other heart-related diseases? Do you know sitting for long hours poses a lot of health problems? Uh, let's ease that stress for you. Walk into Part Ava Limited for your affordable home and office furniture today. Part Ava Limited, your home of modern furniture. Well, let me tell you a bit about DDP Outdoor Limited, Ghana's leading out-of-home advertising company, providing your organization with solutions in outdoor advertising, airport advertising, and large format digital printing. That is indoor and outdoor. All you have to do to reach out to their sales team is call the following numbers, 0541-431-043. You can also reach them on 0244-407-894. Or finally, 0242-587-923. That is 0242-587-923. DDP Outdoor Limited serving great brands. Do you cook? I do. Oh, I know you love your food, but what, I, do you, what can you cook? Uh, I cook so many things. And the last time I'm <laughs> you you know, asked about cooking, I told her, I don't only cook, I bake. Do you bake? Yes, I bake. What do I you bake? bake? I bake everything. I can bake, bake, <laughs> bake uh, everything, including pizza also. But I if you're thinking of what to cook uh, this uh, Christmas, of course, after the election activities, we'll definitely uh, be going into the Christmas festivities, which we are all looking forward to. If you are thinking of uh, what to cook this special Chris this Christmas, Festiva is what you need. Festiva has all you need to make your food special for your delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Festiva 
has got you sorted. Our products include festival jasmine rice from Thailand and Vietnam, mackerel, sardines, mayonnaise, baked beans, soy sauce, prawn crackers. The children will love it. Evaporated milk, condensed milk mm, with bread, uh, cereal, <laughs> cereal <laughs> milk, soya milk, non-dairy uh, creamer, salsa drink, aluguntu green drink. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. And then mono sodium, we have it. Choose from our wide range of festival products and make every meal tasty. Remember Remember, Festiva is your best bet if you have a foodie family like mine. For bulk purchases, kindly contact us on 054-0122-003. Festiva, adding flavors to your life. I like the sound of the prawn crackers, though. But let's end up with um, Macdan Shipping. And it has established itself as the market leader in freight forwarding in Ghana. Now, since November 1999, Macdan Shipping has invested in building a track record of effectiveness in warehousing for both bonded and general haulage, uh, cargo handling, customs brokerage, charter cargo, and project cargo. Now, as if all that is not enough, Magdan Shipping also gives you the most competitive air freight rates on the market. So choose Magdan and experience consistent delivery with all your logistics uh, needs. Just reach out to them at www.magdanshipping.com. That is www.magdanshipping.com. Or if you'd like to call them, the number is 0302 762 2802-762-280. Magdan Shipping, your total logistics partner. And election uh, headquarters coverage is also brought to you by HEPA Plus Mixture. Within the period that we are in, of course, coronavirus is still with us. You need a strong immune system. HEPA Plus Mixture strengthens the immune system to help fight infections. HEPA Plus Mixture helps the liver and other vital organs uh, to correct problems such as excess body fat, overweight, menstrual disorders, sexual weakness, high sugar levels, general weakness, etc so plaque small mixture treats malaria in just four days just one bottle of plaque small treats malaria by correcting your symptoms of malaria within one hour get it now nationwide it's just 10 ghana cities herbal shops near you call ebonage herbal production and consult on 054 277 8572 or 054 9297 Four six three, and thank you so much to our sponsors: Petrosol, Cowbell, Magdan Shipping and Logistics Limited, Padeva Limited, DDP Outdoor Limited, Festiva, Wuchui Year Lotteries, and then also Hepa Plus Mixture. At this point, we go back to the Situation Room and told Daniel Dati has right. some more information in terms of our parliamentary results. Daniel Dati, you ready? Yes, MFA, um, we are live in the Situation Room now. Um, like I said, there's so much energy here. Sometimes it's difficult to hear anything else. But um, I do have with me the list of constituencies that we are yet to call as far as the presidential polls are concerned. And most importantly, we know where they are. So um, we know that currently we have 34 constituencies left to call um, before we can make that final determination as to whether or not uh, President Ekufado has been retained in office or former President Mahama is returning to Jubilee House. I'm going to start from the region with the biggest number of constituencies left. That's the greater Accra region. And like I said, I'm in the nerve center. So I'm going to go over to Victor. Victor, how many do I have in greater Accra left? Is that 10? 10. Yes, yes. So that's 10 constituencies left in the greater Accra region. There's also six left in the central region. Um, I'll try and give you an idea of what constituencies have not come yet. We, ha we don't have Trouble, we don't have Tema West, we don't have um, Wei Jagba, we don't have Dom Kwabinga, which is a big one as of now. But the numbers are coming in thick and fast, and so that could change at any time. Uh, Bono East, Bono Eastern regions, we are left with two each there. Uh, the Northern region, we are left with three. Savannah region, one. Upper East region, we are left with three. And Western and Western North regions, we are left with two each. So that should bring the tally to up about 34 seats that we are yes to call. All eyes, MFA, are on those 10 seats from the Greater Accra region because we know the Greater Accra region is the most populous. In fact, after the creation of the new voters register, we had more than 3.5 million people on the polls for the, on the electoral roll from the Greater Accra region, the largest in the country. And so a constituency in a densely populated area like this could make a difference in the final vote tally determining who goes to Jubilee House. So 
We are still in the situation room, grinding the numbers, working the hours required to ensure that you out there are informed with the most accurate information you can come across as far as the presidential results and parliamentary results are concerned. Mm -hmm. Well, interesting scenes uh, from the Situation Room. I can see Adam Naite by you there. Very, very busy, Adam Naite. Well, working hard. Um, you know, say hello to all the team in the Situation Room, Daniel. <laughs> I will do my best. Guys, MFA says hi. MFA says hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello, guys. Yeah, I see Justice Bedu. I see, I see Sarah. <laughs> ah, they're very tired. Yeah. The, the, that's Beryl, right? Beryl. Yes, that's our award-winning Beryl. Yeah, MST in Arista. Arista. Oh, say hi to <laughs> And then I can see some drinks and food on the table. Where is my Sarah, uh, I want to hear from Adam Naite. Adam, I see uh, some drink on your table there. Adam won't mind us. And She's super busy. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, it's finished, MFR. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> super. And that's and George, George Riafe. supervises so many. Yeah. And I should say, George Riafe delivered for us the first complete region in the OT region. OT so he doesn't region, just, yay! <laughs> you can clap for George Riafe if you want. <laughs> well, super job, guys. Super, he does super, it. super. He does not just interview IMF bosses. Bosses and World Bank <laughs> directors. All right, all right, all right, guys. Let's get back to it. MFL, thank you so much. Back to you. Well, it's thank you. News. Thank you so much. Back. And they've delivered to us uh, together with our correspondents dotted across the country. Super job. They've given us 227 out of the 275 constituencies. And the EC has only two regions so far. Uh, we are told about the Upper West and OT. OT region and um, Israel Lai is monitoring that situation for us. So very soon, uh, it looks like all too soon, we have to we have to wrap up. Yeah, we have to bow out, but of course, uh, we're still going to keep tabs on what exactly is happening. And all of us, bottom line, we want to know how this is going to wrap up so that we know who has been, you know, uh, retained in parliament, who's been booted out, who our president is. And I guess we can all get some rest and move on with our lives. And of course, we'll be with you till we get the concession and the victory speeches. Who would it be? Would it be President Kofado or former President John Dramani Mahama? The race to ju Jubilee House is on and our election headquarters will bring you that. And even after the declaration of the concession and victory speeches, we are still with you till the very end. Thank you so much for being a part of Election Digest. Up next is Winston Gamwa and Evans Mensa. The moment we've all been waiting for. Almost here. Do stay with us. I am MFA Pao. And I am Benjamin Akako. There's more news, of course, when you log on to myjoyonline.com. Do stay. Thanks for your company. <laughs>